Today, we're looking at the upcoming SANA Biotechnology IPO that is happening tomorrow, February 4th, 2021. If you want to learn more about the company, their products, and their S1, or if you need help deciding if you should buy or pass, stay tuned. What's going on, investors? My name is Jose, and welcome back to Rico Suave's IPO, the best place to learn about new companies going public and how to invest in them. Today, we are looking at the upcoming SANA Biotech IPO. Founded in 2018, SANA Biotech is a company that uses engineered cells as medicine and believes that by repairing and controlling genes in cells or replacing missing or damaged cells, they can solve the underlying cause of many diseases. At SANA, we understand that each disease is unique and finding the best treatment requires a deep understanding of its genetic and cellular underpinnings. We are developing in vivo and ex vivo cell engineering platforms to revolutionize treatment across a broad array of therapeutic areas, including oncology, diabetes, central nervous system disorders, cardiovascular disease, and genetic disorders, among others. While our current product candidates are all in preclinical development, our goal is to file multiple investigational new drug applications in 2022 and 2023. Keyword preclinical development, guys. According to Renaissance Capital, the Seattle based company now plans to raise $517 million by offering 22 million shares at a price range of $23 to $24. The company had previously filed to offer 50 million shares at a range of 20 to 23 dollars so they went up in shares and in share price at the midpoint of the revised range sana biotech will raise 60 percent more in proceeds than previously anticipated the company was nominated for the 2019 startup of the year geek wire award but was beaten by the riveter the company was again nominated last year for the health innovation of the year award and got beaten by the Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center. Maybe Sana Biotech will win this year now that they are going public. Maybe the third time is the charm. Here's a short one minute video from GeekWire in an interview with Sana CEO Steve Haar, where he explains the company's mission and technologies. But before that, a quick shout out to my patrons. Your generosity and contributions allow me to do what I love to do and keep the channel growing. So thank you. If you want to become a patron, there's a link in the description. We wanted to build the transformative or winning company of this next kind of era, I call it the next 20 years. To do that, we had to kind of break the model of a, a lot of what biotech is, which is typically taking an idea and figuring out where can I apply it best. And with Sana, what we've tried to do is start with the idea of being, hey, we want to be able to engineer cells. It's a little bit like building a computer. There are a whole host of component parts that go into it. And we have to aggregate the right technologies. Um, we have to have the right people. Because ultimately, if you're going to sit on the, the the cutting edge of innovation, it's a lot of this is is about really great people. And, and so we started out with a broad group of technology experts who felt like we had a really good idea of what some of the biggest challenges were. And we wanted to put together uh, the technologies that would allow us to go after that and put the capital base around that to be an enduring company. You know, I always think about, you know, these uh, little startups, we should lose to big companies on every single objective parameter that exists, particularly in something like this, where there are a lot of fixed costs in manufacturing and scale that we have to overcome. And we have one competitive advantage. We make better decisions. We can make faster and better decisions. And we get there because we have better people, we have greater focus, and we have better communication. If you really hire one of the true world leaders in something, it is pretty amazing and if they're truly great leaders too, how quickly teams form around them. Right? They don't, they're not just, they're not just leaders. They create followership. Looking forward, they want to change the way biotech creates and engineer cells and aggregate the right technologies. They want to hire the right group of experts to make faster and better decisions with better focus and communication. You can check out their website to read more about their story and how the company is looking for new ways to tackle diseases. They understand that finding the best treatment requires a deep understanding of genes and cells. Now let's look at the Earth's One to learn more about the company's financial data. 
We're going to look at the latest S1, which was amended today. The company is showing a net loss of $172 million in 2020. Their balance sheet shows cash and cash equivalents of $149 million. Total assets, $767 million, and total liabilities of $225 million. A lot more assets and liabilities. I like to see that. So, should you invest in the Sana Biotech IPO? Well, I think this is a good company. I mean, it's innovative and it's a disruptor in the biotech community. The company has some cash in hand, but it's not profitable. As a startup, this company is going to continuously need cash infusions, either from investors and during this IPO as, as well, of course. Now, I admire what they are trying to do, but it's going to take them some time before they can go into like clinical trials. I'm still going to give it a thumbs up because I, if their cell engineering therapy is proven effective in a couple years and the company is able to treat, if not cure, people with leukemia, type 1 diabetes, heart disease, and more by repairing or replacing cells in the body, their share price will skyrocket. But of course, guys, that's just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice or investing advice. So make sure you do your own research and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But more important than that, guys, make sure you take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. I bring up the pain, Rick is the mind. I make the market rain like acid rain. And the best investing channel you ever know, y'all. I take your girl, your house, your money, and leave you broke, son.